We all love the DS as kids, right? So many priceless memories playing on that crusty, never before cleaned DS light with a broken hinge and a single dead pixel. That w wasn't just me, right? Anyways, if you've ever found yourself heading to the discount section at the used game store to find some games you could actually afford, then you're probably quite familiar with the Personal Trainer series of games for the DS, including such classics as Personal Trainer Cooking and Personal Trainer Math. But do you remember Personal Trainer Walking? Also known as Walk With Me, Do You Know Your Walking Routine in Europe. Also, by the way, why did Europe get this way cooler, more Frutiger Aero box art than everyone else? Anyways, if you do, then you already know why I'm talking about this game. Personal Trainer Walking was one of the very few games on the DS and DSi to include memes. And by very few, I mean like, literally five. If you've ever played Wii Fit, then the vibes of this game will be very familiar. The memes, the green and white interface, the graphs, the focus on fitness, and speaking of which, the main gimmick of this game was its ability to track your steps throughout the day using this nifty pedometer, or as they call it, the activity meter that came packaged with the game. In fact, this game actually came with two activity meters, a white one and a black one, which was a great idea not only because you could register multiple players, or even your dog, uh, apparently, but also because these things are incredibly easy to lose. They come with an extra backplate that has a clip on it, so you can attach it to your clothing, but I think it slides off just way too easily for comfort. In later iterations of this Nintendo pedometer idea, like the Wii Fit U meter, they seem to have improved the clip, however I still wouldn't really trust it. In Japan, they also released this green and white activity meter, which was sold separately, and interestingly was also sold with this entirely different game in Europe. And while we're talking about the activity meter, the Personal Trainer Walking website highlights a lot of interesting things about the development of this device. The activity meter was originally going to use the Game Boy Advance slot to transfer data from the device to the game. However, they ran into the issue that a device like this would be too fragile and not suitable to be carried around in bags and pockets. So they devised this folding design that had a fully enclosed shell that could be opened. However, they ended up changing the design entirely to the one we know now, which uses infrared light rather than the GBA slot, eliminating this issue entirely. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, what does one even do in a game like this? Well, uh, not that much, but uh, let me just show you. All the gameplay in this game revolves around you walking, of course. The activity meter records your step count throughout the day so that you can transfer your data to your game, done so by pointing the meter at the cartridge and holding its button to activate the data transfer. Because this process uses infrared light, the cartridge for this game is not the standard grey, but actually a slightly transparent blackish color, so the infrared light can be detected through it. Just had to mention that because I think it's kind of cool when games use non-standard cartridge colors. Anyways, once you're in the game, you'll meet this personified activity meter, who plays a very similar role to the Wii Fit balance board in Wii Fit. It will give you tips, explain game mechanics, and go over graphs and data with you. Speaking of which, Graphs. After you transfer your walking data for a given day, the activity meter will go over it with you, showing you your longest walking periods, when you met your step goals, and comparing your data to previous days and months. It'll also give you a mini goal to complete in a day, like trying to walk as much as you can, or... Man, this is 2024, the isolation era, I am not doing that. At the end of the day, the meter will compare your activity to an animal for some reason. Like for example, I'm a deer because I'm more active in the evenings than the day. Okay, n now you're just mocking me. After the activity meter is done passively roasting you, you'll get to put a stamp on your calendar. You put a big smiley face for a great day, a normal smiley face for a good day, or a frowny face for a bad day. Anywho, other than these lame graphs, what other cool things can you do with your steps in personal trainer walking? Well, we've got a few things to go over here. So let's start at the top with this minigame called Walk the World, in which you use your steps to illustrate images with your me, while the activity meter tells you facts about the thing you're illustrating. You don't get to know what the image is until you finish it, so these facts sort of function as a guessing game. Once you've completed an image, it will appear on this globe, and the goal is to complete the entire thing. The second game is called Illuminate, where your me, or your whole me family if you didn't lose all your activity meters, will run on these treadmills to generate power for your house according to how much you walked that day. The more you walk, the more power your me will generate. Rankings are exactly what they sound like, ranking your profiles based on things like most days measured, most active walking periods, or most targets achieved. You could also compare rankings worldwide using Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Now, of course, the Nintendo DS Wi-Fi services are long dead, so I can't tell you firsthand what this Wi-Fi feature was like. However, the personal trainer walking website seems to imply that it was just like normal rankings, but worldwide. Another Wi-Fi connection feature that I also discovered on the personal trainer walking website was called Spacewalk. 
where players from all over the world would add up their steps and I guess walk into space on this carpet thing? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure on this one, but it seems like it would take the number of steps taken by everyone who connected to the internet, add them all up, and then sort of compare it to walking in space to give you some perspective on how far that amount of steps really is. On their website, they say, quote, Did you know that it takes 548,570,000 steps to get from Earth to the moon? Which I feel implies they compare your steps to planetary distances as well. Also, something about this particular image from their website just feels so enchanting. It might have to do with the fact that you can't access this part of the game anymore, so any images of it just feel like mysterious and magical. I don't know, is that just me? As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the European release of this game has a different name than the American release, being called Walk With Me, Do You Know Your Walking Routine? rather than Personal Trainer Walking. The gameplay is the same between regions, it does have a different script, however the differences are relatively inconsequential, as they convey the same information in a very similar manner to each other. I would also like to briefly mention how fun the soundtrack for this game is. I mean, it's a Nintendo game, so I suppose that is somewhat expected. But just listen to some of these tracks. They're just very Nintendo feeling, you know? I also love it when DS games use voice clips like this. One, two, one, two, three. They always sound so scuffed. At this current moment, I'm not too worried about the archival of this game, seeing as it's extremely easy to come across as well as being extraordinarily affordable. However, an unintended side effect of games like this that rely on outside peripherals is that they're extremely difficult to effectively archive. As we've seen with games like Kuruma de DS, which has become all but completely lost at this point partially due to it relying on very specific hardware. If there's one thing that these games teach us, it's that just having a ROM for a game doesn't necessarily mean that it's properly archived. So, in conclusion, I don't like Personal Trainer Walking because it has great graphics, or amazing gameplay, or a gripping story. I know this game is no Tears of the Kingdom, it's no Mother 3, but I like it because it's silly. It has personality. I like it because it's a unique idea executed in a fun and interesting way. And really what more could you want from a game?